my goodness me, I'm glad the game's starting. So, Jim, we take a restart there. Shang, I deal with some dirty work at the breakdown. Taken in there by Beijing. Now releasing is the call. Penalty Beijing. Can maintain it. Great ball taken. He slipped the tackle. The work from Arbach shook the ball out. A one man overlap here. Beijing working hard at that re at that breakdown. <laughs> and Beijing tucks there. Shanghai will have the right out. Shanghai, of course. Shanghai RFC, the first rugby team in China, beginning in 1875. I definitely just researched on being. Not for by Shanghai, that's a Beijing putting at the scrum. Dangerous style of the field here for Beijing. They'll look to make something happen. They can play with both sides of the field, but they elect to move their men. Yeah. Let's see. If the Beijing strong is as strong and as durable as the Great Wall. The only problem with that analogy is that we're pushing forward in the scrum. So it's not as well to move. What's the word, Big Joe? No corn! Shanghai ball. Shanghai applying some pressure there at the breakdown. Beijing committed in defense here. Holding a strong line. Excellent tackle for Beijing. We heard it up here in the grandstand. contest in this game, Joe. Excellent commitment over the wall by Beijing. And they work it out wide. That's a tackle by Shanghai. On the five meter line. Pick and go. Beijing, spin it out wide. The cutout ball. It's the best haircut in the business. Oh my goodness, that's a try from the man with big hair. And that's the first try of the game. That's 5 0. And we're not taking any points off for the hair dye. Oh, 
被跟挡住，所以是被被被挡住。Conversion is good out wide, making it 7 there to Beijing. Once again, I'm not entirely sure why you get two points for conversion, but it seems to be that we only need to know the what, not the why. Yardbarks may have uh, pulled a pig on each other, putting some pig dye in their shampoo, but they are looking good on the pitch. Excellent tackle off the restart. Big hit from Beijing Eye Box there, but Shanghai retain possession. And I would not like to run into number three anywhere or any time. Advantage to Shanghai. They play with the advantage. And we come back. Now we have a second advantage for a high tackle, I believe, Joe. It is indeed. Over the shoulders, they're going to call that. Would you say safety concerns in rugby have increased internationally in the last few years? I'll give a quick to uh, comment on that, but uh, look at him at that shot. Yeah, I think it has. That's a wonderful, well-researched, informed, articulate answer. As an American, we're not hampered by previous knowledge of an issue to uh, give our opinions. Oh my goodness me, your accent's annoying. Same to you, friend. That's <laughs> a big hit by Shanghai. And again, follow up. Shanghai with immense pressure. Four ships across. <laughs> and he gets it down for a superbly well worked, well fought try for Shanghai RFC. Shanghai playing some physical rugby to get that over the line. That makes it five to seven. Let's see if Shanghai can get the conversion. Conversion's good! That locks us up at seven points apiece with Shanghai to restart. This is a highly competitive closely fought game, Joe. Are you enjoying it so far? I am indeed. Oh, closed answer. Colour commentator, Joe. Super enjoying it. Colourfully. Add a superlative. Sure. Super dope. I like it. I'm leaving that one alone. Shanghai to restart. That's a high restart from Shanghai. And it's an advantage. Taken quickly by the eye box. The crew kept alive. He's rolling the tackles, but he's taken down. Strong carry for the Ardbucks there. That would come offside. Beijing Ardbucks ball. The ball taken in by the first Ardbuck I've ever seen with pink hair. Playing with an advantage here, I think. Slap the ball down. Beijing making Shanghai make their tackles. Now we go back for the penalty to the odd box. Looks like they take it quickly. Yeah. Beijing playing with crazy speed on the defensive line. Uh, the grab kick through. Out in the dead blue line by the Shanghai RSC. It's a high skill play going on, Joe. Five meter scrum. Yeah, Beijing was playing with advantage there and decided to take the five meter scrum from Shanghai, taking it out to touch up the back of the tri zone. 
too closely for economic powers within China. Also, let's see who's going to come out on top in the scrum states. Pass, it would be Shanghai Scrum. This game would be a lot easier to commentate on colourfully if I had a jug of pins up here, Joel. From the wonderful pub, the Londoner. It would be delightfully refreshing. I'm sure I'd plug it a lot more if I were uh, look it up. As could our commentary if we were refreshed. Yeah, London is probably not even in my top ten favourite bars at the moment. What we've just discovered as British and American commentators is that sarcasm still falls flat. I'm deadly serious, Joe. Shanghai! Making some things happen out on the wing. Big tackle by the odd box. Massive counter up from Beijing, but Shanghai retained possession. Rock, counter rock. This is more closely fought than the Battle of the Bastards, Joe. I don't want to think of Rick on Starfield in this particular analogy. And Jon Snow comes out on top. Shanghai RFC keep the ball alive. Last play of the game. Ball kept alive again by Shanghai RFC. Arbrox counter right but unsuccessfully. Shanghai picking it going. Make a big tackles. It's got the right pace. Who's got the fitness here? It's seven all. The foot. Boom! Stolen. Oh, oh flow! There it is. Does he have the speed? Boom goes dead. And that is the game. Beijing and Shanghai play to a draw. Joel, that was literally a game of rugby. 